Welcome to the EZU video about insured and carrier initiated claims. This video is a step by step training to complete the task of tracking and managing claims in EZ Links, both carrier downloaded and manual. We will not be covering every button or feature on the pages you see as we have a mission to complete. To learn about every button or feature, check out the videos we reference throughout the training. In this course, you will learn how to add and edit claims, document the progress along the way, communicate information to the carrier and insured, update adjuster and payment information, close claims, and send a follow-up survey to the insured via client center. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. We'll begin with the workflow on how to handle insured-initiated claims. The first objective on our list is to gather all required information about the claim and create a discussion for tracking purposes. This information can include police reports, invoices, pictures, etc. As soon as you have all the information you need from the customer, you'll want to document this by creating a discussion for the claim. To do this, click on the Add Note button from within the customer's EasyLinks account. When the window appears, add a title for your new discussion. Next, click on the label icon and create a label titled Claim. Now, click on the folder icon to associate the policy to the claim discussion. Then, type in your note and click Save. Once the discussion note has been saved, navigate to the Activity tab. You should see your discussion note at the top of the page. Now, everything claims related that we add to the discussion can be easily tracked with the claim discussion title and claim label. The second objective on our list is to add the claim to the customer's account in Easy Links. To do this, navigate to the customer's account and click on the Actions button. In the drop-down, select Add Claim. When the window appears, select the policy that the claim is for. If you don't have the policy in the system yet, you'll need to manually create one or contact the carrier to request a download of the policy, if applicable. Next, select the date of loss and claim type. In the incident description, enter in where it occurred, as well as who and what was involved. If you have any additional information about the claim or its status, go ahead and fill in any other fields in the Claim Info section. When you're done, click Save. Once a claim has been entered or received by download, you can locate it under the Claims section on the Customer's Overview tab. Should you need to add any details or edit the claim, click on the More Actions button next to the claim and select Edit. Don't forget to click Save when you're done. The third objective is to notify the carrier of the loss. Most often, you'll be notifying the carrier over the phone, through an email, or via an online portal. Once you've notified the carrier of first notice of loss, you'll want to document how you notified the carrier and attach any documentation to the claim discussion. To do this, click the Add Note button. In the Discussion Title search bar, type in the name of the discussion from earlier. When it appears in the drop-down, click on it to tie it to the claim discussion. Once again, click the label icon, type in the label title from earlier, and select it to add the label to your note. To add any attachments to the note, click on the paper clip icon. You can attach any existing documents from the customer's documents tab or upload from your computer. If you have any claim documents, like a police report or pictures of the incident, this is the ideal place to upload them. Now, type in your note and click Save. Any attachments in the note will now appear on the Documents tab of the customer's account. The fourth objective is to create a task for the CSR or assigned agent to follow up with the carrier if the claim was not closed within 30 days. To do this, click on the Add Note button. Once again, add the claim discussion title and label. Now, click on the paper icon with a check mark inside of it to add a task to the note. Choose the task due date and time. Then, assign it to the CSR or assigned agent, if not yourself. You can also add a reminder here if you choose to do so. Now, type in your note and click Save when you're done. The fifth objective is to contact the insured and provide any claim details, including the adjuster information. You can utilize EasyLink's Client Center product, should you have it, to communicate this information to the customer. You'll also want to set expectations for the claim process, so the insured is well informed. The sixth objective is to update the claim with any missing details, like adjuster and payment information. If the carrier sends downloaded claim information, the payment, adjuster, and claim status information will automatically match to the policy. 
Otherwise, you'll need to manually do this yourself in Easy Links. To edit the claim or add new transactions, scroll down to the claim from the Customer's Overview tab and click on the More Actions button next to it. If you need to add or edit the claim information itself, click on the Edit option. Otherwise, you can choose to add payment, add reserve, or add adjuster. As you receive this information, enter it into the system for documentation. You can manage additional carrier follow-ups through adding notes and attaching tasks to them. Simply follow the same workflow we've been using to add notes and tasks to the claim discussion. Don't forget to add the claim discussion title and label for tracking purposes. The seventh objective is to update the claim status to closed once the carrier has communicated its closure. If you have EasyLink's Client Center, you'll also want to send a link to your customer for them to complete the claim survey. To close the claim, scroll down to the Claims section on the Customer's Overview tab. Click on the More Actions button and select Close Claim. This will close out the claim in EasyLinks. Should you need to delete the claim for any reason, follow the same steps but click on Delete from the More Actions list. If you have any open tasks related to the claim, you'll also want to close those as well. To do this, navigate to the Activity tab in the Customer's account. Once you find the claims discussion, click on the box to expand it. If you see any tasks that aren't closed, click on the wrench icon to edit the task. When the window appears, choose Completed from the drop-down menu, type in your note, then click Save. The last objective is to review the survey results and follow up with the customer as needed. Now, let's review how to handle carrier-initiated claims. Because much of the process will be the same general steps, I'll be referencing some workflows from the insured-initiated portion of this video. If you need a refresher on how to perform these actions, please refer to their respective objectives. The first objective for carrier-initiated claims is to enter the claim information once you've received a notice from the carrier. The notice will typically come by way of download, email, or fax. If you don't have the policy in the system yet, you'll need to manually create one or contact the carrier to request a download of the policy, if applicable. Downloaded claims will automatically be matched to the policy in Easy Links. If you're dealing with a manual policy, you'll also need to manually create the claim as we did for the insured initiated portion of this video. Please refer to objective number 2 should you need a refresher on how to manually create a claim. Once you've created the claim, fill out the claim info section to the best of your ability. Any missing details can be added later. The second objective is to enter the payment and claim status details as you receive them. Please refer to objective number 6 in the insured initiated portion of this video should you need a refresher on how to edit claims and add transaction details. The third objective is to attach claim documentation and make note of conversations using notes and tasks in easy links. Please refer to objective numbers 1, 3, and 4 in the insured initiated portion of this video should you need a refresher on how to create discussions, notes, tasks, and reminders. The fourth objective is to update the claim status to closed once the carrier has communicated its closure. If you have EasyLink's Client Center, you'll also want to send a link to your customer for them to complete the claim survey. Please refer to objective number 7 in the insured initiated portion of this video should you need a refresher on how to close claims and tasks. The final objective is to review the claim survey results and follow up with the customer as needed. That's all for this EasyU course on insured and carrier initiated claims in EasyLinks. Thanks for watching.